came with uh, my interest in writing a crime procedural for the stage and um, I don't really like crime procedurals on television too much because I think they wrap up, they're very pat. And um, so I was thinking about if I were to do something like that in a way that I found interesting, what would that be like? What would a crime interrogation be like? And I've been interested in video games and virtual reality for a long time. So I thought, what if someone's done something um, in online in a virtual realm, so it's almost lifelike? And, and that took me to, well, what's, you know, what's one of the worst things you could do, which uh, led me to the topic of, um, of activities with children. And, um, and then I thought to kind of complete the thought experiment, but what if no one involved in these activities is actually a child? It's all adult, adult role play and game play. So what are the ethics of that? And that's, that's the question that I started with when I, when I began writing the play. And then in the writing of it, the whole Victorian world emerged and the science teacher and the little girl and, and all of the other elements kind of revealed themselves to me. The play asks a lot of questions about the ethics of technology. It, the play doesn't necessarily come down on one side or the other. I think when you start to get into it, it, it becomes a really kind of sticky question about, you know, I think we all assume that we are free as an individual. Our, our imagination can go anywhere and we can't be uh, prosecuted for that. But when you bring, when technology comes into play, and it's not just you entering uh, this imaginative world and, and acting out whatever desires you want to act out. But when you can actually do that with other people, when you can put your imaginations together, what are the ethics of, of, of kind of a, a plurality of people doing these things, even if it's only in their minds? Yeah.